Hello, my fellow adventurers. This is Melutia, and welcome back to New World. Another day, another epic quest to complete. And today we find ourselves here with Derek Wardell, and he has the quest. Let's quickly see. A King's Defense. Gather components to create the legendary Tower Shield, Rook's Defense. So we're going after a shield today, apparently. Was not my intention, but hey, it's I a legendary. I heard about what you achieved with Madaki, you know. She even sent me some of the designs to the crypts. An impenetrable tower shield, in fact. You know how to forge it? I do. Using a shield, and one like this in particular, requires a strategy all of its own. It's like a game I once played called Chess. The shield is like the rook to defend your king. So, how do we create it? Find these components and bring them to Madaki. She's in the Master of Forge, of course. With these elements, she'll be able to grant you the rook's defense. And from the picture alone, it does look really, really good. So, let's accept and see where the first part is bringing us. Seek an insolent wooden base from the dryads and mevelins here we go again guys mevelins level 66 for the level first zone it's nothing new my baby give it to me how many am i gonna need to kill oh no kill count no objective count so we just need to kill one then maybe we should be able to get it Oh, let's see if we're lucky. Did you see that? His heel is actually following his arrow. Oh, we got it. Insolent wooden base. And the quest is done. Venture to Scorpius and slay Xylanx, the Unseen, for the corrupted greatsword shards. Let's hope that my Void Gauntlet does not fail me this time, or too much actually. Man, the interrupts from these guys are insane. I'm stuck in a corner, I'm stuck in a corner. This is not good. It's uh, kill or be killed now. Switch weapon, switch weapon. Heal, heal! There he is, the one we actually need to beat. Put some heals on the floor. We are basically still a healer build. Yo, that's a lot of damage. Let's heal ourselves up. And let's get some damage in. Not that we actually need it, because well we are in a party, so damage is basically. Even if I'm not doing the most damage, it's still a party, so I'm still gonna get the kill. So yeah, let's just equip our live staff. So we can actually heal people while they do damage but yeah this is eventually the dude we kind of needed to beat and do have to say uh, switching between the uh, great axe and the actual life staff is well it you see it a lot better right <laughs> if you actually have an equip or not there we go and he should drop the corrupted great sword charge really nice let's pick it up we're opening a coffer. There we go. And we need to go to Aradinus and acquire glowing plant cores from Dryads. Pretty good. Nobody's farming. Oh, did we get a drop? Did we get a drop? One out of four. One out of five. Glowing plant core. One out of five. And I need 15. <laughs> That's 60 kills. No more. 75 kills. Okay. Let's get ready for a farm. Two archers are back. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Fast. So fun to kill them. Come on. And that's a drop. And I think we got one drop here. And one drop here. Perfect. And the next quest, travel to Paraville and collect rotting leather straps. 
And we're gonna need to search open caskets for rotting leather straps and defeat Joan the Faithless. So we're not gonna have to fight a lot of mobs. We're just gonna need to... Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? We just need to open caskets. So that's pretty... I think it's like 100% because there's markers above them. Makes it easy. And I think Joan is like a single NPC. Stands over here. Where the hell did you just come from? Did you just spawn to annoy me? And yeah, I basically was... I'm not really sure what I have today, but I'm like... I'm, I'm kind of swapping between weapons like... Oh, I, I kind of like to play with this and I kind of like to play with that. And I was like, you know what? The spear. I kind of like to play with the spear. Good interrupts, good stabs. Good damage. Like, overall, it has good damage, even in my focus builds. Let's not blow up. Let's get this horror out of the way. Especially the interrupts, like, holy crap, the interrupts are amazing. I'm kind of like, always, like, fighting with uh, the life staff, always doing that light attack uh, over and over spam. It kind of gets, like, single-minded a little bit. Is single-minded? Is single no. No. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, ah, come on. What's the word I'm looking for, guys? Like, I know, the, I know the word in Dutch, but I can't translate it in my head. I'm not really sure what's going on. Ooh, let's not pull him. And let's do Put some heels down. Let's wait for that. Jump vault kick! Yeah, she does have some HP. Yeah, Spirit does do some damage. Let's get out of that. Oh, missed it! Missed it! Where the hell are you running off to? I missed everything! Oh my god! I'm kind of feeling ridiculous. Wait, I can't? Seriously? Is it because she is on the stairs? Yeah, I can't. It seems, it seems I can't interrupt her. I can't do that. Oh, I can't put her through the ground. Okay. Okay, 2000 damage. Like, sometimes the life staff is just way, way too good. And definitely versus smaller, lower level mobs. Like, holy crap, guys. 2,000 damage with a heavy attack. 1,800 here. 1,700 for my beacon. Man, this has got to be way faster. And sometimes you just need to switch weapons, although you don't really want to spam all the, the same buttons constantly. Over and over, you do want to mix-match your weapons that you play with. Other weapons sometimes just are better than what you want to use. And Joan is almost down. And that means we are gonna need to look for 14 more caskets, which is pretty easy. We just basically avoid the mobs so we don't have to spend time killing them. Although, yeah, level 40 zone, guys. Way too easy. Okay, just defeat. Ooh, I was kind of like, okay, let's get that drop from Joan. But I noticed that she didn't drop what I wanted. There's no drop. It's just defeat. All right, let's open some caskets. And the last one, and then we can see where we need to go. And it says, to the touch move rule, loot iron plating from Undead of Stone Skull Fort. Is that where I think it is? Yes, exactly. They are taking me on the same sequence as the last quest for the musket. Holy crap. Last time we had to kill 75 enemies, guys. I can only hope one thing. That they're gonna make me kill enemies again. And not defeat that last boss here. Because that last boss is surrounded by two complete idiots. Five lost defeated. Well, that has to be one of the easiest quests in this sequence, right? It kind of has to be five lost for iron plating. It says just defeat them. It doesn't say get five iron plating. So by the 
the look of the sound of this quest, it should be 100% drop. Alright? Because else it would be collect 5 iron plating. No, don't reset, dude. Don't reset. Seriously? It's not 100% drop. Yeah, you should have changed your quest name. It doesn't really cool. Oh, one out of two. Okay, that's that's not too bad. I do have to say, Overseer Levy kind of sounds bossy, right? <laughs> kind of. So, yeah, let's just in case set our spawn here. Uh, I really hope it's not the one that I'm thinking of. And on top of that, we need to defeat 35 Corrupted. Now, there are low-ass Corrupted here as well. Uh, I think this dude is pretty easy. Okay, let's see what our life staff actually does. Yeah, 2,000 again, guys. So, I want to play other weapons, but the game is just telling me, like, your life staff does a lot more damage. Why would you play with other weapons? And... I'm not really sure what's happening, but I was hopscotching. Oh, and I missed everything there. Yeah, 1,400, 1,000, and then 2,000 for heavy attacks. Yeah, I do need to keep them, keep them moving, because these are the guys that do drink. And 1,400. It's just it's so much better damage. So 35 of these fellas. Well, let's finish up these two before we check out where that boss spawns, right? Okay, so we found Overseer Levy. He is a gunman, so that makes it a little bit easier for us. Because we can basically keep him at range and just keep shooting at him. First, we're gonna deal with this bugger here. Just keep making him run after us before he starts drinking. And then check out how much HP Levy actually has. I have a feeling he's gonna have quite some health. Let's heal up and let's check it out. Oh yeah, this this is gonna take a while. <laughs> ah, let's put a heal on the floor, and probably by the time I killed him, the mobs probably would have spawned back again. But yeah, I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna keep myself busy. Gotcha! Whoo! Six and a half minutes. <laughs> so I wasn't really far off with my seven minutes. And we got the Twisted Heraldy, meaning that we only need to defeat. What? 26 more corrupted here in this zone. And that is actually not that difficult. They actually do die pretty fast. You do need to beat up a mob, beat up the miners. It's so freaking easy. There we go. This does not look good. Claim corrupted shield lining from High Priest Ozagera at Mangled Heights. And if I remember correctly, this is the last boss. Yeah. Alright, boss killing time. Yeah, it wasn't really that hard to actually find some people to do these quests. A lot of people still want quests done in this area. So avoid increased damage here. Speed things up a little bit more. Doggies get in the range of the AoE. They die really fast. And don't target me like they usually do. And let's go Void Gauntlet ourselves for that last Mac. Down. And give me your loot. Thank you. And what do we need to do? Travel to the Opulence and loot Oracalcum Studs from the Corrupted. Ooh, I got a drop. Is that the first drop that I need? Yeah, 
And I do take a lot of damage. Farming these guys up will not be an issue. Just waiting on the respawns. And a second drop. So we got one. Okay, so we got one out of... Uh, how many did I kill so far? Four, I think. So four kills. One drop. And I need 15. <laughs> Baby, drop it! Drop it! Ooh! Hell yes! Alright, quest chain complete, and I do have to say, it already is the next day. Um, I kind of ended up last night with uh, 13 out of 15, and I spent an hour and a half here, and it was like 1 o'clock uh, after midnight. I was like, I need to wake up in 6, six hours. Five hours? Yeah, five hours, so uh, I'm going to bed. I'll finish the quest up next time. So it's already, uh, well, yeah, it's already Wednesday, the day I'm going to release this video. So let's go talk to Ento Madaki, and let's craft up this shield. A masterful game you've played, acquiring these components. You've earned Rook's defense and will doubtfully wield it with the same impressive valor. Checkmate, indeed. The Rook's Defense Tower Shield. Let's take a look. Can I get it to my inventory? Yeah, there we go. And let's equip it. And yeah, it does give the uh, marker here. If we actually click on it. Doesn't it say... Shields do not grant a stat boost unless you have a sword equipped and unsheeted. If you don't intend to equip a sword and want to decrease your equipped loadout weight, you may want to unequip this shield. Yeah, it does look nice, guys. Uh, my cloak is kind of... Can I actually... I don't have a one-hander on me, right? So I cannot really... If I would do this... Can I actually equip the shield? No, I cannot equip the shield without a sword. So I can't really look at it. Or I need to do this. Let's go naked. Medium? Yeah, it does... Like, it is covering my entire back. It does look beautiful. And what are the stats on it? Let's quickly check. So, Constitution, 14 Constitution. Accelerated Defiant Stance increases movement speed. Movement speed increased by 27% for 5 seconds after triggering Defiant Stance. If you got Sturdy, you take 9.4% less stamina damage while blocking. And Hated, you generate 14% more threats. These are all actually really good perks. Holy crap. Yeah, they're they're basically all good perks. But yeah, I don't really use the shield and uh yeah, I go or completely heavy. Well, maybe I can just keep it for my completely heavy build, right? It doesn't do anything with my stats anyway. And I'm like Is it giving me extra armor or not? Don't think so, right? Yeah, no, it's not giving me anything in advance because I don't have a sword equipped. So it's just aesthetics. So it's just aesthetics to have a, a shield on my back. Um, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Let's put it away with the with the rest of uh, our elite weapons that we got from our quests. And uh, let's sit Raz down. First off, let's do something else. There we go. That's a lot better. I so love this hat. I so love this hat. But yeah, guys, that's where I'm going to wrap up this episode. If you want to see more of my quest progression on my Let's Play here in New World, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.